What is up, boys? Today I'm gonna do a trade recap. Um, if you feel free to join my free Discord, the link is in the description. Um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. I took two break-even trades and one loss today. A very small loss though, less than a percent. So like people ask why am I trading minis and stuff like that, but if I'm able to take three trades in minis and only lose 400, you know, like overall that is a success. So we'll go over those trades. Now starting off the day, um, I was kind of watching this area. Let's mark it out. ES was in it right away. Um, I mean, kind of makes sense why it didn't happen right now because we are not at discount. But, you know, that's what it is. Or was it? That would have been the premium one. Sorry. No, come around. So, this premium fair value up here on ES that we get into. And we also have that same imbalance on um, NQ down here, which we weren't into yet. So market opens and we get um, a good solid move up into close to the imbalance but not into it yet. And you get an SMT like right here. You get an SMT there. So you have this external SMT and you know you come up and you take internal too, right? So that's kind of what we're looking for. Like in my trade criteria, that's why I'm not mad at this trade. In my trade criteria, you know, that is what you're looking for. You're looking for... um internal external take in fair value gap you know internal take in displacement and then targeting the lows you know and so you get that you get clean displacement through these levels you know however you want to look at it, you know if this is your um change in the state of delivery you know you have imbalance in there you get good displacement so i enter right on the pullback to the equilibrium of that range that sell-off range that we had the 0.5 is where i like to enter so I enter short, like right here, get tapped in. My stop is always above that 0.79 level. And I'm kind of targeting down here. Also, like anywhere in this area. And, you know, I'm, I, you know, I get to all the way to a, what, one to two, but I don't get what I want. I want it all the way down here, you know. I did. I truly did. And we never quite got that. When we get this big push down, I end up moving my stop to break even, which was right where that wick came in. So then I get wicked out right there. So that's break even. Not mad at that. Not at all. I was measuring the standard deviation as, you know, this, um, not that. Well, that might make sense why we did come back. But this wasn't what, how I was measuring. I was measuring from this wick just because on a higher time frame. Looked a little cleaner. Kind of was the full manipulation move. But so I still was very confident that we would go lower. And um, so I get my break even there. We come back, we come back. Yes. Now, this is probably not the best entry of mine. I can't lie. But um, it would have been. Right here. It was somewhere around here. So let me mark it on this. Right here. So ES forms this imbalance after we come up and create another internal SMT right here. So we have another internal SMT inside the imbalance. So I'm expecting now, now it's time to go, right? We came back to discount. Time to go lower now. Once ES respects the imbalance, I enter on NQ. Expecting to at least see this low. We couldn't even get this low. Get stopped out there. Not a big deal. Very small loss. And then the final trade was a final stab at the shorts after we finally came back to the four hour imbalance, right? So now we're finally at the four hour imbalance. You know, the hour imbalance, whatever you want to call it. We've taken internal liquidity. I'm like, okay, this is very clean. And then I'm like, okay, we take this right here. I'm like, I want to see internal taken. We get a nice clean take of internal. You know, ES is not buying up at all. ES really wants to sell. I think we have an internal SMT like here. No, we have a not a real internal SMT. But I'm like, okay, I'm ready. And then once we get a change in the state of delivery, I enter. So I get my entry around here, which is a very good entry. I was very happy with this entry. And I really just have my stop at the protected high. And, you know, I'm just kind of trying to see down here. I want to see a little lower, and we just never could get any any movement to the downside today. You know, and it happens, but, you know, it's okay. So then I ended up coming, coming. We come back up right here. Ah, uh, let's pull it up. Yeah. So my entry was like this wick right here. And I, and I closed that break even right there. I manually closed it. I didn't like it. I mean, I was just tired of this um, terrible price action. You know, we're not getting any clean moves to the upside, to the downside. I was going to close the position once ES took this low right here. But ES doesn't even take this low. ES leaves it right there. <clears throat> so that's that.
And yeah, that's the market today. We kind of just aren't doing anything. We're in a weird area because we are um we are inside the um uh the weekly fair value up, but then also inside this four hour fair value up here. But then we also run inside the weekly fair value up. Or like we're respecting it. So it's like we're in two different imbalances, like struggling to get through this four hour. So maybe once we get through this four hour, it'll be a little different. But like we're in this four hour now. And you know, you're just not seeing any displacement or anything lower. So maybe that's it. I don't know what we're gonna do. I really can't tell you right now. I thought we'd go lower earlier, but we didn't, and that's fine. That's my market recap for you guys. Um trade recap, two break evens and one loss. Um I hope you guys have a great day. Stay blessed. Uh, yeah, join my free Discord link in the description. Thank you guys so much.